Former U.S. Senator John Danforth had little to say to me before he gave the eulogy at Schweik's funeral. I think I'm going to leave my comments for inside if that's all right with you. Danforth was a close friend, co-worker, and political mentor to Schweik, who had planned to run for Missouri governor. Danforth said that in the days before his death, Schweik was upset about a negative radio ad that mocked his appearance and was distraught by what Schweik perceived as an anti-Semitic whispering campaign against him. Schweik was Christian, but had some Jewish ancestry. This was righteous indignation against what he saw as a terrible wrong. And what he saw was wrong is anti-Semitism. Danforth did not mention any names. Spokesman for the state auditor's office, Spence Jackson, blames Republican candidate for Governor Catherine Hanaway for the negative radio ad, and Missouri Republican Party Chairman John Hancock for the anti-Semitic remarks. Those who are behind this need to be held accountable. Catherine Hanaway needs to ask for John Hancock to resign, and John Hancock needs to resign. That was, that, that was the big message of today, and I hope we'll see some immediate action. Danforth suggested that political bullying led Schweik to fatally shoot himself. Busloads of state legislators had no comment on Danforth's remarks. Senator Kit Vaughn summed up the services in four words. Sad day. Former Senator John Danforth essentially blamed Tom Schweik's death on politics. He said Schweik's passing is the natural consequence of what politics has become today. In Clayton, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13.